So this weekend, the Rockies were facing off against the the Marlins, and the Rockies have a mascot named Dinger. Keep that in mind as I say the rest of the story. Lewis Brinson was up at the plate and he takes a pitch from the pitcher. I don't know who the pitcher was. And you hear a fan shout the N-word. It sounds like the N-word. You know, he says it multiple times. He shouts it out loudly. And the Twitterverse goes absolutely crazy. This guy, I can't believe people were complicit in listening to somebody yell that at Lewis Brinson. You had baseball players come out and defend Lewis Brinson, you know, apologizing to him. I can't believe you had to go through that. God, who was the center fielder for the the Baltimore Orioles? AJ, Andrew Jones, uh, who had experienced some instances of of racism uh, in Boston, came to Brinson's defense and kind of trying to console him and saying, like, you know, keep your head up, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, we don't hear anything from Brinson. I don't know if he spoke after after the game about it or anything like that. But meanwhile, we don't hear anything from him. We just hear a lot of people jumping to conclusions, essentially. So this guy, Steve Stager, who is a nine news viewer, he just views the news. Is that all? Whatever. He works in the news media somehow. He tweeted this out and I was just like, oh my God. And this is why I wanted you to keep the name Dinger in mind. So new. The Rockies tell me last night's incident was a fan shouting to get the attention of Rockies mascot Dinger, not a racial slur. The Rockies have spoken to the fan who confirms this is the case. They've also reviewed the video from the local broadcast, which is here. Okay. Three yesterday. Here's the 1 0. And again, it's 2 0. And this is not to pick on, on Ben. So you hear the fan there shouting, Dinger! Dinger! And again, it's 2 0. And. This is not to pick on on Ben. I'm almost happy it played out like this because not often does do the tables get turned around where I think we could all agree the guy's innocent. As far as I know, I don't know the guy's name. I don't really know what he looks like other than that clip you just showed. So maybe he was able to escape any backlash. But usually when a guy gets plastered over the internet as a as like let's say that guy was plastered as like a racist a hole who was shouting the the n word all over the place. I don't think anybody could come back from from being accused of something like that and getting it letting it sit overnight on twitter and waking up the next morning and and seeing how how viral it went i don't think there's any coming back from that i think that that, when you listen to the audio it's really not that clear like like if you listen to it and after reading what i just read the tweets that i just read i hear dinger and again it's two and oh and this is not to pick on on Ben. But when I saw it initially and and what the person who posted it initially said that they thought he was saying, I heard what that person said as well. I don't know if you've seen on social media, there's this thing that's going viral where they post two words. It's kind of like that. The situation is kind of similar to that. Like, like if you were to tell me that what he said was the N-word, that's kind of what I hear. But yeah. now that this guy's telling me that he's saying dinger. I, I hear that too. And and maybe it's because the tweet, if if the tweet just said Lewis Brinson's at bat in Rocky in the Rockies today, and then I heard it, I don't know what my brain would have would have thought, but because every tweet that I saw when I logged in was a racial slur was thrown at Lewis Brinson. I heard it and, it, and I'm not gonna lie. If it wasn't for that video showing the fan like looking in the direction of Dinger, mm-hmm. I still probably wouldn't have believed. It. I would have <laughs> thought. I would have thought like, okay, that was the lamest excuse to yeah. cover this guy's ass right now. But again, I'm. I'll give all that up. All that. All that pre pre thought that I had of everything. I'll give all that up just to say that I'm happy that it played out like this, and I'm happy that the first sight of that fan is him looking the other direction to call towards Dinger because if the first sight of that fan was that we just got a picture of him like this is the guy that said the racial slur I would I would be so, so feel so bad for that guy right now like yeah we have to I think this this story there's a lesson here and the lesson is don't jump to conclusions like and, and social media you get that dopamine hit when you send that tweet that says man this guy should be banned from all ballparks for saying this, this and that. And you get those likes in return. You get that dopamine hit. You feel good about yourself. But look, you you did it under false pretenses because you didn't wait and, and see what actually happened. So next time you rush to send out a tweet or uh, an Instagram post or whatever, pause before you send it and think about it and and maybe wait a day and then send it.